Good morning, gardening friends. It's now 11.30 on November 12th. It's about 70 degrees, and it's time for another quickie update. First up, looks like the only thing developing in the large planter is that I've got a few more of the Easter egg radish. I got one there, I got another one developing over there, and uh, a couple of them over here. Hopefully you can see that all. See all that. Next, in the medium planter and beyond, uh, really it's just the medium planter, I did finally pick that one tomato that was, it didn't look like it was quite ripe, but it tasted ripe, so it was pretty good. Uh, and so we've got a few more coming up. Probably the biggest change is the nursery, maybe we'll just call it the uh, patio nursery as opposed to the courtyard nursery. As you may be able to see, I've uh, moved a few things out, transplanted them elsewhere, and over here where I'd moved a bunch out of the zinnias, I've now planted a crimson star petunia. I know that's really terrible handwriting there. Um, in three of the four in that four pack. The fourth one with the marker sticking up is a sweet pea along with the other four there. So those were planted yesterday. We'll see how long they take to germinate. I also transplanted a couple of the marigold that were uh, germinated. Um, there was a four pack, I believe, in there, um, but maybe it was an entire six pack. Only two of them had actually germinated, so I chose to actually transplant those and empty out the six pack, and I'll find something to put in there. And a quick shot to show you that the uh, poppies and cosmos are continuing to get bigger. I moved one of them out here between the two bigger planters and uh, moved the pot that was there back to the patio where I'm going to. That was a, um, I'll think of it in a moment, but uh, the plant in there was not doing well. It basically, I left it there for six months. It didn't have any growth, so I've decided to go ahead and get rid of it and uh, resift the uh, soil and plant something else. Heavenly bamboo, that's what I was trying to think of, and it should look like this, but uh, it just wasn't growing. I think I bought a diseased plant, and it just never really did very good. I know it doesn't look like too much, but there's a couple of zinnias and a... Um, I'm forgetting names today. Uh, another plant. <laughs> um, sitting in there. Those came from the patio nursery. Okay, seeing as it's overcast today and the sun's not so bright, I'm going to take one more shot at getting this shot. I'm really trying to demonstrate how the leaves are going from green to yellow tinged, and I'll get you a better close-up. There we go, and the other plant I was trying to think of was marigold. Don't know why I couldn't think of that one, but there it is. So that's what I planted in that other pot, that along with the zinnia. The heavenly bamboo, I know there's another name for it, um, but you can look that up, or I'll just post something on here. Good afternoon, gardening friends. It's now November 14th, a little before 3, and about 90 degrees. It's in November, and it's 90. What can I say? It's Southern California. Time for a couple of quick updates. Okay, first of all, we've got the... Uh, squash are doing really nice, both the acorn and I actually have a sprout in the kabocha. Um, I've got five sprouts in the acorn, uh, unless maybe there's one more since in the last hour. <laughs> um, I'm really happy about that. They're getting big, and I'm actually shooting individual pictures, which I'm going to put into a time lapse in another episode, so watch for that. So about the only thing worthy of note on the patio besides that, oh, hey, we've got another little friend. Actually, a couple of things now that I think of it, but one, the spinach is doing pretty nicely. And as our little lizard friend crawls out, it reminds me that uh, Larry the lizard, who was sitting in a big old pot, yesterday he looked like he wasn't doing so well. So I finally decided I'm just going to turn the pot to the side and see if he decides to leave, and sure enough, he did. So I'm feeling kind of bad that he was trapped in there, but I didn't. I thought he just wanted to be in there. He was crawling up against the side of the pot, and... I thought he was just enjoying life, but the more I thought about it, it's where's he going to get the bugs that they usually feed on? So that's it for the patio. Finally, I'll say that this morning I got a shot of these trees. 
I've been trying to capture the colors and I think the shot this morning came out a little bit better. So I'm going to try it on video now here at 3 o'clock. I'm trying at different times. Let me see if we can zoom in. Make it look a little bit better. Hopefully you can see the colors. Good morning gardening friends. It's now November 16th, my brother's birthday. Uh, and uh, It's uh, about 11.30 in the morning and it's oh just over 60 degrees. Time for another update. First thing, I don't know how many people would have noticed, but uh, I put the flower boxes, I've rearranged the flower boxes that are up on the patio wall. It's going to change the sun that they get exposed to, but today it's overcast. Uh, it's actually 30% chance of rain, so odds of having any real sun come out today isn't really going to matter what part of the day I moved them. So, not that I'm being so thoroughly scientific, but uh, just wanted to point that small thing out. At the same time, I want to point out that uh, I finally replaced, if you look later when I post my um, pictures that I've been taking of all of these, uh, which will be in another episode. You'll see that for a while there's been a missing six-pack, which was right here, and that's now been uh, planted with lupin. I looked it up. That's how you pronounce it. Uh, hopefully you can see the label, too. I uh, didn't do too much else today uh, on the patio, so let's go look outside. So in each of the three big planters in the front Corners. I have now planted uh, petunias. Went out and got a six pack. Two per makes six total. So um, I just wanted to get a little bit more color into these big planters. That's pretty much it. Uh, I think I'm going to wrap this all up and post it.